All right. Well, the state's largest teachers union does want more tax dollars for schools and also for teachers' pay. The ISTA claims the public agrees that the teachers that we have now are just are not paid enough. Our Rich Van Wyk learned today why education funding is the union's top legislative priority. The teachers' union's argument for more tax dollars paints a dismal picture of a profession that offers too little pay, too little respect, and too many reasons to leave. Oh. Butler education major Lucy Allen has no illusions about becoming an elementary school teacher. Teachers who are supposed to be teaching everything from ABCs, they're supposed to be able to break up fights, they're supposed to be taking bullets for their students at this point, and they get paid $30,000 a year. So it's a little heartbreaking. In this poll, we found that there was an overwhelming amount of support for our teachers. A poll commissioned by the Indiana State Teachers Association found that more than 8 out of 10 of those surveyed support increased funding for classroom instruction. 72% said Hoosier teachers are paid too little. The union claims many public school teachers have gone a decade without a meaningful pay increase. Their actual pay year to year has stayed the same or the pay increase has been very, very minimal and um, has been eaten up by other costs like health care. Poor pay is one of the reasons cited for a shortage of teachers. A recent Department of Education survey found 35% of new Indiana teachers leave the profession within five years. Union President Teresa Meredith has seen similar numbers. That's about the time we see folks uh, make that gut-wrenching decision to leave. Despite the obstacles, Allen is sticking with her decision to teach disadvantaged children, hoping she will make a difference in their lives. I realize that there's a lot of inequality between school districts, and so that's something that I want to be able to help solve. It appears as if teachers have some allies in the state house. Governor Holcomb and some lawmakers have already said that teacher pay needs to be a priority this legislative session. Rich Van Wyk, Channel 13, Eyewitness News.